Hey everybody, what's up? This is Pat Flynn from the Smart Passive Income blog and welcome to my Facebook page. Today I wanna spend a little less than 10 minutes with you to share how to create a branded Facebook page. So you know, Facebook is awesome for expanding your brand, for connecting with your customers or your readers or subscribers. However, Facebook doesn't really give us much room to work with as far as customization and design is concerned. So we really have to maximize and utilize those little tiny spots that they do give us to customize. Really what I'm talking about is our profile image here on the left-hand side, as well as those five little images here at the top. So I'm gonna share with you how to do that really quickly today. Now, if you are a Photoshop user, you're actually in luck because I created a PSD file for you that'll make it super easy to upload these files in the perfect size, and I'll get to that in a second. So if you are not a Photoshop user, I just wanna go over the dimensions of these images really quickly for you. So this profile image on the left hand side, that's actually 483 pixels tall by 180 pixels wide. And these five images here at the top, they're all the same size. They're gonna be 68 pixels tall by 97 pixels wide. Now, I'm actually gonna create these images for a brand new Facebook page that I just created for one of my niche sites at securityguardtraininghq.com. This is a brand new Facebook page I just created for it. As you can see, it just has a really tiny little profile image here, which I'm gonna update. And it doesn't even have those five images up here at the top, so I'm gonna update that as well. All right, so you Photoshop users out there who wanna download that PSD file that's gonna help you slice and dice your images and make them the perfect size when you're uploading to Facebook, go ahead and go to smartpassiveincome.com slash Facebook branding, and that'll take you to the blog post on my blog that has this video embedded. Underneath this video on my blog, there's gonna be a big, bold link to download the PSD file that's gonna help you, and I'll show you what that PSD file looks like right now. All right, so this is what the PSD file looks like when you open it. It basically resembles your Facebook page, except it has a few missing parts, obviously. It has the missing part for the profile and the five images at the top. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna design this page exactly how we want it to look. When we save it, there's a special way to save it so that it slices each of these six parts into separate images, separate files, so that we can have them ready for uploading onto Facebook super fast, super easy. Now, a couple things here to understand before you do this. Whenever you draw on the screen or paste uh, other images on here, make sure they're in a layer underneath the slice and dice layer uh, here in the menu. You can have as many layers as you want to create the images that you like, but just make sure that this is always the top layer. The slice and dice layer is always at the top. And secondly, realize that these, uh, these five images here, one, two, three, four, five, Whenever you reload the page, they randomize. So if you had some word order here, like my name is Pat Flynn, uh, the next time you reload the page, it's gonna be like Pat Flynn, my is the, or whatever. It's gonna be randomized every time. So there's, it, this is just specific for Facebook pages. Don't ask me why Facebook doesn't just have it in a specific order, but it's always randomized. Uh, so just keep that in mind. And what you want to do is try to set it up in a way so that it kind of makes sense no matter what order it's in. Um, so I'm going to show you how uh, I'm going to set mine up right now. Again, you can set up yours however you wish. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to paste uh, all these things uh, white. So I'm going to fill them white. As you can see, if I were to fill them blue, for example, it just only fills up the stuff behind the slice and dice layer. Again, because I'm toggled on the image goes here layer. So I'm gonna switch it back to white. I'm gonna open up a profile image that I created earlier and just drag it onto here, position it to where I want it to be. I'm gonna create a layer on top of all that and switch the color to blue. And I'm gonna create a line that goes through all these. And then I'm going to switch to a white color, switch to text and just write some quick text in here that kind of makes sense for this brand. So I'm just gonna have some uh, quick words in here and let me just copy these so I can easily rewrite them in a second. But as you can see, the way I'm setting this up, it won't matter what order those five images are in, which is important. So protect, safety, uh, what are some other security guard words? Um, observe, observe, sorry, report, and help, sure, why not? 
So obviously you can make yours as fancy as you want, but this will kind of just be mine for now. So after you get to this point, uh, what you want to do is save the file, but you want to save it in a special way. You want to go to File, and then click on Save for Web Devices. And then from here, you can kind of see uh, where the slices are going to be taken from. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and these little blue boxes. And make sure it's a JPEG that you're saving to. Then click on Save. Now this is really important. Uh, I'm going to create a new folder. I'm just going to put um, security guard training images just to easily organize them because it's going to create six images. Don't worry about the file name. Those are going to change for you. Now under here, Settings. Change it to... Uh, default settings, always make sure it's default settings and always make sure the slices says all user slices. It might say all slices or it might say selected slices. But again, all user slices, default settings, images only. Don't worry about the file name. So I'm gonna click on save. Now when I go to my finder and I open this up, you'll see that it created a folder called images. And I'm going to open that. And as you can see, there's six different images, which are the uh, slices of exactly what we created. So now we have all these files perfectly ready for us. So I'm going to go back to Chrome now to upload these files onto Facebook. All right, so here we are back at our boring old Facebook page that we're going to give a makeover to. The first thing uh, we want to do is to really easily upload a new profile image. Now just go over here to your profile image that you have already, hover over it and click on change picture. Go ahead and go to choose file and find that image. It was in that images folder that we just created. It's actually named for you. So go to profile pic.jpg and open it. And then if we go to view pic after it's done uploading, you'll see that that image is there, which is great. Uh, now, the one thing I want to point out is that uh, the thumbnail image that you, uh, you have by default, it kind of just picks a uh, spot within the profile image kind of right there, as you could see. And that uh, thumbnail is what's going to be shown every time you leave a message. Now, you don't want it to be this random thing. You kind of want to choose what that's going to be. So in order to do that, go ahead and go to Change Picture. Once again, underneath, there's a thing that says Edit Thumbnail. Click on that. And now uh, you can kind of adjust and drag to where you want it to be. So I'm going to show this man's face right there. Click on Save. Now if I go back to the wall, by clicking View Page, you'll see that my image has changed here in the thumbnail, and it looks a lot better. Some people use people's faces. Some people use logos. Just use that technique to find whatever part of your profile image that you'd like to put in your thumbnail. So the next part is to change the five images up here. Now this is really easy. We can do this all in one batch. Just go ahead and click on photo right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create an album. And then click on select photos. In that same folder, you'll see the five images that you created from that Photoshop uh, Im uh, file. Click on image one, hit shift, click on image five to save them all and click open. And now it's uh, gonna upload those files. I'm just gonna create a new album and call it you know, you can call it whatever you want, but I'm going to call it banner images. I'm going to make them high resolution and then click on create album. Uh, and now at this point, you know, there's a couple things. It's going to ask you for a description of each of them. And if the if if you feel like these deserve a description, you can do that. Uh, you can go ahead and do that. Some people get pretty ninja with this and they actually put uh, links to certain posts or products or whatever that are relevant to the images that they've uh, they've put up. So, for example, if I had a, uh, an ebook about how to make the best security guard report uh, out there, you know, I could put a link in the description for the report image. Uh, you know, people do click on those and they will see the description at that point. But it's up to you. So for now, though, I'm just going to skip this part, and then I'm actually going to click on the image uh, or on the link up here to go back to the homepage, and you'll see that the banner images are now there. So now I have a branded Facebook page uh, that totally looks so much better than before. Obviously you can design it however you wish. Now a couple things to uh, realize here, just to reiterate, every time I load this page, it's gonna uh, turn into a different order. So when you're designing this, make sure that you create it so that it can work in whatever order those five images are in. And also when you upload new pictures, um, it'll, it'll 
it'll kind of bump one of these out. So actually, uh, let me see if I can do that for you here. I'm going to upload um, my profile image one more time just to show you what happens. And I'm just going to share that. And now if I reload the page, you'll see that it bumped one of them out. Actually, it's showing the kind of white space here. Now, in order to just get rid of that, just click on this little X here, and then the other one will come back. So that's all you have to do. So I'm gonna actually going to remove this post there. And there you go. That's your branded page. I just wanted to say thank you so much for joining me uh, today and watching this video. I hope it was helpful. I would love to hear from you if you use this tutorial to create your own branded Facebook page. I want to see it. And the best way to show me is to actually go to patonfacebook.com and that'll redirect you to my Facebook page. Leave a link with your page there and I would love to just check it out. And I might put the best ones up there who have the best creative use of the banner images or whatever into a blog post on my blog sometime. Uh, so, you know, that maybe some traffic coming over to your page from that. So again, I would love to hear from you and also uh, check me out at patonfacebook.com. Thank you so much. Hope you love the video. I'll talk to you soon.